Cool. So who are you calling today? I'm going to call uh, a neighborhood in Olive Branch. It's Forest Hill. Um, there's still a lot of new construction going up in there with one of the big, um, I call them chain builders um, that build spec houses. Um, but there's still, it was, it's been an established neighborhood for probably close to 20 years is when they started in there. We are at 138 calls made, 28 contacts. I don't feel like I've talked that many people, but I think you have. I have. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them were, there's been several that already have agents. Right. Um, drop 34 voicemails. Um, that's on a hundred properties total an hour and 40 minutes. We're at one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight emails, one builder, three, four, four that said no email, but send them a card, no plan, whatever. Wouldn't give me the email, so uh, I'll send them cards and but eight emails so far. Most yeah. agents are sending horrible market reports and it gives that word market report a bad name. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So just say that's how I stay in touch that's with people. Stay Make it touch. sound real personal. Personal, yeah. okay. Yeah. But the thing about the calls is you've got to enjoy it. And like, we're sitting here laughing at each other on some of the previous calls um, that haven't gone as planned, but still they'll get a laugh out of it, whatever. The first time and I put, I put in here what time frame they tell me as far as what they're gonna do or when they're gonna do something. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I should follow up. But once I follow up, I have to come back over here and say, when am I gonna call them again? Um, so I need to be a little, little more organized on that. But this is just uh, January 8th, and there's a lot of days that I haven't called. But So since and you started... Even, even if somebody doesn't give me an email, I still, if I have a good conversation with them, and they say, oh, I don't want to give you my email, but call me back. Um, I'll call them back in two months from then, which is last week and I probably actually called him back. I did call Dalton back. Um, even if I don't get the email, I'll still write their name and address and farm her down if we talk and we have a good conversation. Mm. Um, because they're gonna say no, I can call them back if I just get bored one day, call them back a year from now. And this is all from the last three months. All these emails, all these names, all these numbers. These are all the people that I've talked to. I'm gonna sit down tonight before I send my email out. I've got to catch up on entering these into constant contact. That's where we're at. But yeah, I need, I need to figure out a little more organization on uh, on follow up. And then just a plan. Put their name I started, I started putting it in my phone, like call so and so this day. Um, that works too. It takes a little longer, but I think uh, I think maybe keeping a track on on this second, sheet. You need a second, like you, you need a second. Need a second like spreadsheet, this. yeah. Like I've got this schedule book. It's mm -hmm. like one week yeah. per page. Okay. And like if I need to follow up with somebody, I can just come ahead here. Even if it's in six months from now. Yeah, but six oh, months I can just so I can just oh, go yeah. ahead and just yeah. I can, I can write them in there six months yeah. ahead of time. It gets a little clustered in here. Welcome to Storm. Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. Hey, Mr. Jones. This is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Good, good. Uh, you guys enjoying the weather we've had the last couple days? Yes, sir. I know it beats the rain we had over the last weekend, so it's been pretty nice so far. Yes, sir. Well, look, I, I didn't want to take up too much of your time today. Um, we sold a few houses in your area recently, and uh, just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. No, sir. Don't have any. Don't don't have anything right now. Okay. I appreciate you. I'm at work right now. Oh, I got you. Not a good time, but yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Was there a better time to call you back? Yeah, I, I didn't figure you'd have plans today, but if in the future uh, you decided to do something, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? I really have done a whole lot of thinking about it. Okay. Well, yeah. That's... If I do, I probably if I do, I'd use Carlo. Okay. Well, good. Good. 
Okay. Well, um, you know, like I said, whether you, it's a year or ten years, if you decide to do something, I, I'd love the opportunity to meet you and uh, and help you. So, is it cool if I stay in touch? All right. Appreciate it. All right. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Pretty good, so, bro. He was pretty busy. Good. Like, pretty I knew he was busy, and I should. I probably should have just said, "Okay, I'll call you later." No. 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 You should have said, "Cool. What's your email address?" Really fast. Yeah. Like you just drug it out too much. Right, here's one calling back. Hello? Uh, yeah, this is Joe. Someone just gave me a call. Yeah, hey Joe. Uh, this is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? Oh, pretty good. Good, good. Uh, you been enjoying the weather we've had the last couple days? Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Well, look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, we sold a few houses by you recently and just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or anywhere I could help you. Not right as right now. We're kind of stuck there until my son gets done with school for sports races. I gotcha. Uh, over at Center Hill? Yeah. Nice, nice. What sports he play? Uh, he's baseball. Gotcha. Okay. How long uh, until he graduates? Yeah, he's got three years. Three years. Cool, cool. Is he trying to get into college ball or just... Uh, well, uh, his two older brothers have already been in college ball. His older one graduated from La Tech and... Uh, his middle one's at Mississippi State now. He's the catcher for Mississippi State. Oh, so. nice. That's awesome. Good. Yeah, so he's, he's going to be going to college somewhere playing baseball unless he gets tired of it. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, but, yeah, he, he's a, started in eighth grade over there at Center Hill as far as he made the varsity team. So all the other schools are political, so we're going to keep him yeah, there for now. I know what you mean, for sure, for sure. Well, uh, you know, when when he when he goes to college, do you guys look at uh, you know possibly downsizing or anything? Uh, actually, uh, I'm pro I'm, we, I've already talked to my wife. We're probably going to be selling, and I'm going to move to my parents and help them out. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you said probably about three years on that, though, right? Yeah, it's when he when he graduates because we we'll have to stay there until he graduates, so he's got three years. He's a he's a he'll start tenth grade this fall. Gotcha. Okay. Well, do you guys have a, a agent that you plan on using when that time comes? No, we don't have anybody yet. Okay. Well, uh, look, when, you know, when you when you get ready to do something, I, I'd love the opportunity to meet you and uh, just help you out the best I can and give you the service you deserve. So, uh, is it cool okay. if I stay in touch? That's fine. Right. Stay in touch. All right. What's a good email address for you? Uh, J. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, look. In the meantime, uh, before you hear back from me, if there's ever anything I can do for you or any questions you have, just uh, don't hesitate to reach out. All right. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good afternoon. Pretty good, bro. Pretty good. They don't all go that way, but I think you kind of, you kind of borderline, kind of talk a little too much there, you okay. know, and stuff. But uh, I mean, you got the result you wanted, but well, it was at the end of talking about this, it like, like the relationship building, and then right now it's not. It's you're starting to build the relationship, but um, if you want to talk about baseball, I was just gonna. Talk about oh baseball. no, yeah, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, I guess, I guess the biggest thing I can tell you is, is you gotta know when to get to the point though. You right. know what I mean? <clears throat> I felt like you kind of- That kinda, was a long call, it yeah, really was. kind of, a little Probably too much of the baseball-y thing, but then yeah. when he said that he was gonna sell and move in with his parents, you said, okay, you're gonna do that in three years or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And that, and you should have said right then, okay, cool, is there an agent y'all gonna work with? Go straight, you, okay. you should have went straight to right. the, we eventually got there, but it took a little yeah, too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. a little too long there. And that little bit of too long mm -hmm. could be the difference in him you know, working with you and not. Like, you know how they say, I'll right. call you, you call me back, and then they don't answer? Yeah, for sure. You know, like that, cool, but then they don't. Mm -hmm. It's because of these little things right here that kind of is like, he's a little, talks a little too much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get in, into another conversation with this. I didn't get his email. He doesn't have plans, but I'll, you know, reach out of here. Whatever. If I get bored because um, he doesn't have an agent that he's going to use. Yeah, um, yeah. What I would do, man, literally, is I might uh, call him back in like a month and mm -hmm. say, hey, have you been getting my emails? And then and then say, uh, and then try to get him to go to lunch one day. Right. So I'd love to put the name with the face and hang out for a bit. Okay. You know, like, and so in a month, after he's been getting the emails for like four weeks, mm -hmm. call him back and say, hey, I just want to make sure you've been getting them. And uh, I've got another call back right now. Hello. Uh, this is Connie Pearson. You left a message. Yeah, hey, Miss Connie. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. This is Andy with Cry Like. 
Uh, you guys been enjoying the weather we've had the last couple days? Yep. Nice, nice. Look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, we've sold a few houses by you recently. I just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no? We don't plan on moving. Mm -mm. Okay, well, you know, most people don't have plans today, and that's all right. I understand that. But uh, if anything changed, uh, do you have an agent you would work with in the area? Uh, no, not that I know of. No, okay. Well, look, uh, one day, you know, whether it be a year or 10 years, when you guys do decide to sell, um, I'd love the opportunity to help you out. So is it okay if I stay in touch? Sure. Okay, what's a good email address for you? Um, CS. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, in the meantime, if there's ever anything I can do for you, or if you have questions or whatever, uh, please keep me information and don't hesitate to reach out. Okay. All right. Well, All thanks right. for your time and I appreciate you calling me back. Okay, thank you. Right, have a good afternoon. Mm -hmm, you too. Yeah. Is it over? Yeah. I think what I, I think what your your ending, I think the ending should be uh Yes, and that you when you say show gratitude at the end of the call, like um, that's one thing that's a habit breaker that I've gotta break and uh, I don't know what's the line to go to for that. Dude, um, I would literally because you're getting their email. I would say that, uh, hey, I'm gonna stay in touch with you by email, okay. you know? So you'll start getting emails from me if, you know, just if, if you'll have my information there. So kind of like revert to- Don't say if you need anything, call me. Just say, I'll, I'll be sending you emails. Uh, my information's there if you need anything. Yeah, and you can say call me, you okay. know what I'm saying? But okay. like use the, use the email thing in the ending, you know okay. what I mean? Be like, you know, okay, cool. I'm gonna stay in touch with you by email here. Okay. I was like, like, if you need anything, give yeah. me, get, you know, let me know, I'm here or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Miss Rogers. Yeah. Hey, Miss Rogers. This is Andy McElhannon with Cry Like. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Are you guys enjoying the weather we've had the last couple days? Oh yeah, if it would stay. Yeah, uh, no, it comes and goes, but uh, you know the sunshine sure beats the rain any day. Well, that's true. All right. Well, look, I didn't want to take up much of your time today. Uh, we've sold a few houses in your area recently and uh, just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. No, well, I'm very happy with where I got planned to stay. Nice, nice. You never know. I can imagine it is a nice neighborhood over there. Well, uh, yeah, we enjoy it. if you guys did decide to do something, is there an agent in the area that you would use? Um, not really. Okay. Not really. Okay, well good. Well, you know, whether it be a year or 10 years when you guys decide to do something, um, I'd love to be uh, the agent to help you and, uh, you know, give you the service you deserve. So is it okay if I stay in touch? Okay, that would be fine. All right, what's your email address? It's Jana, and what was your name again? Andy. And your last name? McElhannon. It's a weird one, I know. <laughs> Uh, well, I wondered if it was Mac, uh, McElway. It's not. Uh, no, no, ma'am. It's not. Okay. It is uh, J-R-O-G. I'm sorry. You broke up there for a second. It was J- What? Okay, perfect. All right. Well, look, I'll stay in touch via email and uh, you know send you some information here and there. Um, but if there's ever anything I can okay. do, uh, you've got my information and don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, thank right. you. Perfect. Yes, ma'am, same to you. Thank you. Bye. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful, bro. It's 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 easy, like it follow the scripts and <laughs> they work. magic happens. They work. Like what's that, like the sixth or seventh number down the line and four contacts and or email addresses. I talked to somebody two months ago and she, uh, I sent her my number and normally if I have a really good conversation or somebody that's ready to do something soon, I'll just shoot them my contact uh, link. That way they can save it right in real quick. Uh, and that lady I talked to two months ago called and she said, yeah, you called me about my mom's house two months ago. Um, unfortunately, my mother passed away a few days ago and we need to sell the house. So yeah, um, I'm meeting with her on Friday and like, but the, but 
it's not because of that. It's because I sent out that first email last week. Uh, it got to about 1,600 people and 400 of them opened it and 100 of them clicked on something. She was one of the ones that opened it, saw my email. Oh yeah, I need to call Andy. Like, <laughs> Anybody that's and that's from two months ago. Like, here, I can tell you what day I called her. Um, oh, like, house-wise, there have been, it's maybe 10 houses. Yeah, 10. Maybe, maybe 10. Four emails? Three emails, you and the one that people, talked huh? to four. Yeah. Talked to four. And that's what, you know, we were talking about, don't be attached to the results, because the numbers that everybody put in the group, um, some people don't get three emails out of 300 calls. You gotta think day. though, like I told you, man, they're getting their numbers from somewhere other than Red X. They're like getting yeah. like from Cole or... But Check yeah. this out, guys. Andy just popping in my office to make live calls. So he's on Red X making these calls. He's talked to four people and got three email addresses. Hello. Hey, Mrs. Clay. No, it's not. This is her daughter. Oh, is this uh, Tammy by chance? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Um, look, uh, do you guys still own a 4210 Cold Water Drive? Who is this? Look, this is Andy with Cry Like. Um, I didn't want to take up much of your time today. Uh, we've sold a few houses by you recently and just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. Help me what? Uh, I mean, with anything, uh, any buying or selling real estate or just anything at all. No. No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you know, most people don't have plans to buy or sell today, and I understand that. But at some point in the future, you did. Uh, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? Mm, well, no, not right offhand that I can think of. Okay. Well, good. Well, whether it be a year or ten years, uh, when you do decide to do something, I'd love the opportunity to uh, sit down with you and meet you and, and help you as best I can. So, is it okay if I stay in touch? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What's your email address? I don't have one. You don't have one? Okay. Well, uh, that's just normally how I stay in touch. Uh, I send out you know market updates and just good useful information. I don't spam you or anything like that. So. Yeah, I don't have an email. Okay, well that's fine. Well, um, I'll reach back out here, uh, you know, maybe six months or so down the road and uh, just check on you and see how you're doing. But uh, if in the okay. meantime you need anything, you have my number and uh, I'd be more than happy to help you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, have a good day. You too, bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, started out like, she came off kind of standoffish. Yeah, that's why I skipped the weather and went straight into. That was good. Um, that was good. The whole thing was good. I think at the end of the day, email, I think you might have said, "Does your mom have one?" Because it's your mom's house, right? They're both on here, so that's why I said, "Is, is this Tammy by chance?" Okay. So and then say, "We'll say, hey, does your mom have one? Does anybody in the household have an email? Like okay. she has." Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, got an email. Don't, don't say it. market report. Okay, don't say that. Yeah, because that makes because everybody's sending these bull these, these right. Yeah, and horrible I horrible market a lender that I've used one time or another down the road. Most yeah. agents are sending horrible market reports, and it gives that word market report a bad name. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So just say that's how I stay in touch. That's with how I stay Make in it touch. sound real personal. Personal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not like a massive. Yeah, not like a massive. Okay. Email, like more like a personal. I'm gonna stay in touch with you. Right. Hey, Mr. Little. Hey, Mr. Little. This is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? Uh, let's see. What did I call you? No, sir. I called you. You, you doing all right today? Like, uh, you, you guys enjoying the weather we've had the last couple days? Let me ask you what you're meeting. Look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, um, but. Uh, we sold a few houses by you recently and just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. Oh, I'm doing good though, okay? You're good? Okay. Well, look, uh, you know, I didn't figure you'd have plans today and that's all right, but if at some point down the road you guys decided to move, do you have an agent in the area that you would work with? Okay, I'll pass information. This is, this is not his fault, but I'll, uh, I'll pass some information along. Okay. Do you, do you live on Lake Crest? Is that your house? Bye. All right, so that's the first contact that I haven't gotten any information from. Is it want to talk to me? Oh, I just want to reply, dude. Bye. I mean, dude, 
I mean, think about the amount of calls you got, the amount of email addresses you got, though. It's right. crazy. Um, this guy's and like you, and like you could have maybe played around him a little, like a little bit, yeah. like a little bit better play of words there or whatever. I, bet he, I waited too long, but he you, did not want to talk to me. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I heard in his voice, like he could have turned him around. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's one of those like experience things. Like right. once you get to get a little better, I think you can turn people like that around. Well, I'm sitting here looking at you talking, and I'm like, like you, you should have went straight. I know, I know. I don't want, like, like you were like. like you're okay. Like, you're like, yeah, we're just enjoying the weather. I'm like, don't say that. Yeah, like, just, <laughs> chill, let's go. All right. What's up, dude? Man, you better be working. Hey, hang on a second. Ricky, are we working? Yeah. He, he's like, you're wasting time, man. Are we Who working? Is this? Who is this? It's Q. Ricky, y'all better be working, man. Shit, what do you think we're doing over here? Catching footballs? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I'll come back. You need to come back down here we'll and make back. some calls with us, man. He's making calls. He done got three or four email addresses. Man, hey, that's big time. I just wanted to tell you, man, you know, we model, you know, exactly what you're preaching and up here in Mississippi, man, for me. Yeah, but we got to get you on the email train, though. You're like, you're not, you're not on the email train. You're like, well, let's close. Kind let's, of, uh, let's, it works. But. Let's get on a call sometime, bro. Man, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I'll get up with you. Yeah. Um, uh, as far as going house or something? Cheese, that's cheese. Do you guys know what time we're closing? Yeah. Hey Terry, this is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? Good, good. How are you? I'm good, I'm doing just fine. Are you guys enjoying the weather we've had the last couple days? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, it sure beats the rain that yep. we had last weekend. Well, look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Um, we've sold a few houses by you recently, and just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're not interested in selling. Not interested? Okay, <laughs> Thank good. you very yeah. much, though. No, that's okay. I didn't figure you would have plans today. Um, if at some point in time you did decide to, is there an agent in the area you would work with? We're not even, it's not even in our... Not even in right Okay, well, I understand. Well, Thank look, you. whether, you know, a year or 10 years, if you decide bye-bye. <laughs> she was rushing to get off the phone. Oh. Hey, Mrs. White. Yeah. Hey, Mrs. White, this is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? I'm okay. Well, good, good. Are you guys enjoying the weather we've had the last couple of days? Somewhat. I know, it's been nice out there. Well, look, uh, I didn't want to take up much of your time, but we've sold a few houses by you recently, and I just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. Are you talking about an Olive Branch? Yes, ma'am. Over on Coldwater Drive. Oh, no. We're not looking to move anytime soon. Okay, well, good, good. Um, if at some point in time you did decide to, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? There is my daughter-in-law. Oh, your daughter-in-law. Okay, who who is it? Jackie Rowland. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, it looks like you're uh, in good hands and taking care of and um, you know, we'll definitely get you on a call sometime. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Good day. Bye. 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 Do you own a house in Olive Branch? No. Nah. No? Nah, okay, cool. Thanks for calling me back. Wrong number. Uh, uh, you're cracking us up in here, bro. <laughs> I think I was to, like talking pretty clearly <laughs> on that one. Hello? Hey, Terry. This is Andy. Hey, Mr. Gary. Uh-huh. Hey, Mr. Gary. This is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? I'm doing all right. Well, good, good. You guys been enjoying the weather the last couple days? Yes, sir. It's been nice out there for sure. Well, look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, we've sold a few houses by you recently, and I just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. No, I'll be here until they put me on the ground. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I've, I've heard that several times, and that's all right. Uh, if at some point in time your plans change, and you decide to sell, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? 
Well, not right now. Not right now? I, I won't be sending. I won't. My wife and I, we're, we're here. For, uh, we got the house just like we want it. No mm. steps. So, uh, oh, you've got one of those uh, single levels that everybody wants. Okay. Yeah, that's, I've got one that, that we bought it before it ever finished. And nice. So we had it fixed like we wanted. I got you. Okay. Well, so we'll be, if, if, it, if your plans change, I'd love the opportunity to help you. So is it okay if I stay in touch? All right. All right, I'll send you a card in the mail. We won't be, we won't be, we won't be selling until they put us on the ground. All right, that's fine. If she goes before me, I'll be here till I go, and then my son will take over. Your son will take it over? All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll call your son, too. All right. All right, have a good afternoon. I'll send like, and I'll, uh, I've got to get some done, but the refrigerator magnets, I'll send them one, like, People don't give me their email address. Send a refrigerator magnet. Hello, this is Sharon. Hey, Miss Sharon, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. This is Andy with Cryolight. Uh, you guys been enjoying the weather the last couple of days? I think so. Well, good, good. Well, look, I, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, we sold a few houses by you recently, and I uh, just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I can help you. No, sir. My house, I bought it 16 years ago. It's paid for, and I'm there to stay. You're there to stay. Okay. Good deal. Well, there to stay. You know, if, if in the future your plans change, uh, is there an agent you would work with if you did decide to sell? Is there any what now? Is, is there an agent in the area that you would work with uh, if your plans change? Uh, well, Leanne and I are good friends, and she just followed a friend up by her house. Okay. And uh, then I know I know some other people that are good friends of mine that are filters. Yes. Okay. Got you. Got you. All right. Well, if any of that okay. changes or all of them retire, um, I'd love to be your agent in the future. So just keep my information and reach out. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good afternoon. Hello. In our county. Hey, Miss Barboza. Yeah. Hey, Miss Barboza. This is Andy with Cry Light. How are you today? Andy with who? Cry Light Realtors. Can you hear me? Oh, I got you. Yeah. Well, um, look, we've uh, sold a few houses in your area recently and just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. No. No? no. I got you. Well, if at some point in time your plans change, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? No. Who are you again? Andy McElhannon with Cry Like Realtors. No. Hmm. No, thank you. Okay, well, look, if your plans change, I'd love to help you out. Is it okay if I stay in touch? No. No? Okay, well, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you. All right. Bye. No. Hello? Hi. Hey. Justin, I haven't been talking this number. Yeah, hey, Justin, how are you today? Man, I'm just fine. This is Andy with Cry Light. Um, I was calling about your house in Forest Hill. Yes, sir. I got you. I got you. Look, man, I didn't want to take up much of your time, but we've sold a few over there recently and uh, just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I can help you. Uh, wait, the help me in how? Uh, any, buying or selling real estate or just, you know, anything at all. I got you. I'm, well, I build houses, so I'm always looking for lots that people let anybody buy. Okay, okay. Um, where uh, you build in DeSoto County? Uh, yeah, I built most of Forest Hill. Uh, I'm at Forest Hill. Yeah, Forest Hill subdivision on Sand Hill Road. Yeah, that was actually the house I was calling about. Y your, your number was linked to that one, a house over there at some point in time. I got you. I got you. What's the name of your, what's the name of your company? Yeah, we're, we're just now cranking back up, though. It's been 10 years we've been dormant. Okay, okay. Well, uh, do you have an agent that helps you, uh, you know, sell those things? Uh, not really, not right now. I, I mean, I, I, have, I got a few buddies that, uh, but nobody sold anything for me yet. I've only built two since, uh, since last year. Okay. And uh, the two I built, I actually sold myself because I was selling family members. Gotcha. Well, I know, are you in the, like, situation, like, are you, could you buy, like, five watts at a time in a neighborhood? Uh, not right now. I can normally. I actually have a development that's about to go down at on Davidson Road in Olive Branch. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be one acre lot. The last one acre lot in the city of Olive Branch. Yeah.
Yeah. I got 20, uh, was it 28 of them. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of short on cash right now. I'm not going to lie. I got you. Always, I got people that have money, though. You find a good deal. Yeah, we can find somebody that's got money to buy you some lots to build houses on, for sure. Um, let's go eat lunch one day next week. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's take dates. We can, we can try to meet. All right. I have three companies, so I'm kind of busy. Okay. I have a roof company, and I have an outdoor uh, deck gazebo and all that kind of company, and then I build houses as well. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go eat lunch next Thursday. Cool. All right. I'll call I'll call you on Wednesday and figure out what time's good for you, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Nope, All right, brother. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, so that was a callback. Um, as I was dialing, he called back an unrepresented builder um, that's got 20 lots going up, one acre lots um, that he's about to build on. Um, that's his development that he's got going right now. Doesn't have any money to buy additional lots, um, but there are several new subdivisions in our area going up. Um, but the developer sells about five lots at a time. So uh, maybe once we sell a few of those in that one development, you can start building in the other one. Um, and maybe I can be his agent. You never know. Yeah. Builder has a 20 lot, one acre lot development going up. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Um, he's tied up with that, doesn't have cash to buy five lots at a time, which is. Hello. Hey, Miss McKnight. Hey, this is Andy with Cry Light. How are you today? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Have you guys enjoyed the weather we've had the last couple days? We're okay. Gotcha, yeah, it's been nice out there. Well, look, I don't want to take up much of your time. Um, we've sold a few houses by you recently and just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. Um, not right now. Not right now? Okay. Well, you know, if in the future you decided to do something, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? We work with Garnet West. Garnet West? I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, sounds like you're taken care of then, and uh, if that ever changes and there is anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to call me. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Enjoy your afternoon. All right. Bye. All right. All right. We'll pause right Perfect. Right. Um, Perfect. Perfect. So, he, most, a lot of the developers right now, one guy bought all the land in the crash um, and he sells five lots at a time. So this guy can't buy five lots at a time right now. Um, I think those lots are like 50 a piece um, in the development that I was telling him about. Mm -hmm. um, but he's got a 20, 20 lot development, one acre lots going up, getting ready to go up. Um, doesn't use an agent. He hasn't built in about 10 years. Getting back into it. Well, Boom. it's good. Boom. So I'm going to Get lunch with him on Thursday. See if he'll let you just list one, one for him to see how it goes, right. and then like maybe a relationship yep. can, you yep. know, can be. So you cold call subdivision. <laughs> you run into the builder that's right. getting back in the game to build a ton of houses, right. and he doesn't have a real estate agent. He hadn't built in ten years. So, <laughs> hey. But the thing about the calls is you've got to enjoy it, and like we're sitting here laughing at each other on some of the previous calls um, that haven't gone as planned, but. Still, they'll get a laugh out of it, whatever. Because, I mean, they're telling you no, but who cares? The next person will say yes. No, Barbara is my realtor. Barbara's your realtor? I, I got you. Well, if she retires yeah. um, and you need someone, I'd love to help. So uh, keep okay. my information handy. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hmm? Barbara's her realtor. Hello. Hey, Miss Nancy. Yeah. Hey, Miss Nancy. This is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? Hello? She hung up on me. Hello? Hello? Yes. This, this is Karen Simpson. Hey, Miss Karen. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing just fine. This is Andy with Cry Like. Uh, you've been enjoying the weather we've had the last couple days? Good again. Andy McElhannon, and I'm with Cry Like. With Cry Like? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, well, I'll talk okay. to you in a couple days. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Hello? Hey, is this Robin? Uh, this is not. Um, my mother's name is Robin. Oh, okay. I was actually looking for the property owner of 4250 Lake Crest. Um, is that you or them? Um, that is my mother. I'm not really sure how y'all have my number. 
Sure. Gotcha. I, uh, it's linked to. It was linked to it at some point. This is Andy with Crylike. Um, I didn't want to take up much of you guys' time, but we sold a few houses over there recently, and just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for y'all or any way I could help you. I tried. She tried to get away so many times. I kept her hanging on for a minute, but at the end, her husband talks to somebody that is an agent. Hawks Crossing. Hawks Crossing. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you know, if at some point down the road you decided to sell that, um, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? Well, actually, I'm a realtor. Oh, you are? Okay. <laughs> I didn't catch your name again. Who is this? Wayne. Wayne, Wayne Barkley. Wayne Barkley. I gotcha. Okay. Well, yeah, man. No, just doing a little prospecting. You doing all right today, though? Good for you. You stay after it, okay? All right. I appreciate it. What uh? What company are you with? Dreammaker. Dreammaker. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right, man. Well, hopefully we can do a deal together soon. Hello. Hey, Katie. Yeah. No. Um, I'm actually looking for the property owner of uh one two nine zero five Myrtle Bend Loop. Is that you? Yeah. Don't ever. No, that's not us. That's not you. Okay. So, do you live in Desoto County? I do. Oh, okay. Well, this is Andy with Crow Light. Uh, I was actually just reaching out. Um, we'd sold a few houses over there uh, in Forest Hill recently and just didn't know if uh, there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. Oh, no, not at the time. Thank you, though. Okay. Do you guys have an agent if uh, you decided to do something in the future? Uh, no, but we're not really planning on We have a grandmother in Las Vegas, so. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Seeing where we are until, she, uh, until she's gone. Okay. Well, one day you're, uh, when you do decide to do something, uh, I'd love the opportunity to meet you guys and, uh, and sit down and just show you what I can do for you and how I can help you. So is it okay if I stay in touch? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, what's your email address? It's uh, RJ. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. What's, uh, what, what area do you guys live in again? Oh, okay. I know where that's at. Perfect. Perfect. Quick, quick side of things. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, uh, you know, I'll uh, send you a few emails. Um, and if there's everything I can do uh, for you, just let me know. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that was a wrong number, but they live about two miles from the neighborhood I'm calling and still got their email. Um, whenever their, whoever's living in their mother-in-law wing is gone, they will sell. Hello. Hey, is this Jeremy? This hey, Jeremy. This is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? Hey, you know what? I'm doing all right. What can I do for you? Well, good, good. Look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, we had sold a few houses over there by you in Forest Hill recently. And just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or anyway I could help you. Not today, Andy. Uh, in fact, I'm at work with a client. Hang up on you. Okay, so no problem. I'll, I'll try you later. Okay. Okay. Hey, yeah, sounds good. Bye. Hello. Hey, Miss Jackson. Uh -huh. Hey, Miss Jackson. This is Andy with Cry Like. How are you today? Uh, yeah. I'm doing just fine. You guys enjoying the weather we've had the last couple of days? Yes, they are. No, good. It's been nice out there. Well, look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, we've sold a few houses by you recently, and I just didn't know if there was anything in the world I could do for you or any way I could help you. I'm not really, really good right now. Good right now? Okay. Well, you know, if your plans change in the future, do you have an agent in the area that you would work with? Plan on keeping it. Okay, well, look, if it, it's a year or 10 years down the road, if anything changes, I would love the opportunity to meet you guys and help you. Uh, is it okay if I stay in touch? Uh, sure. Okay, what's your email address? Uh, Teresa T-H-E. Okay, perfect. Well, look, I'll send you, uh, send you an email, and uh, like I said, if there's, if that'll have my information, and if there's anything I can do for you, just uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. A few. I'm not done calling. I'm just kind of pausing for a minute. Taking a little break. Yeah. It's good to take <laughs> breaks. So, I'll just get out of the chair and move around.
I normally try to take like five minutes or so every hour. Yeah. Um, it just helps. But I mean, this, which I had to start, I had to restart and everything, but this has been 53 minutes. Um, 78 calls made on 57 properties, dropped 15 voicemails. But um, I don't remember where it started at because I had that call, but I don't know. Two emails and that two right. emails. I know we got four. Dude, I know we started out on fire. You mean two? Just, you mean two since you? Yeah, since since then. Since the originals, like when we were. So first, overall, you got six. Yeah, and so then, you got six emails and a builder. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty productive. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But it, it's it has slowed down on getting the emails, which that's the goal of these calls is to get. The but emails. dude, you got six yeah, so got far, six. and a builder that and that's you in an hour. Be, hour and 15 yeah. minutes something like that an hour so. and 15 minutes of call six emails and a bit right <laughs> so the scripts work like you can tell obviously um i deviate a little bit but not not tremendously yeah like, well you have to man you have to go you with the flow of the conversations it's not a script to like it's a script to get a real conversation it's right. going it's a script to open them up and make yeah. them talk to you exactly uh, rather than no there's nothing you can do for me okay well, yeah. whatever maybe there is We'll see. Sure. <laughs> but Good job, I mean, bro. You've, said, you've heard the, uh, you know, when people, like, just have fun with it. If somebody, like, tries, like, you know, every, for every note you get, like, laugh at it when you're talking to them. <laughs> just to keep you on yeah. track. And not, if you, like, if you smile while you're talking like, to damn, them. damn, I didn't get, you know, they said no. Like, fuck that. They like, feel the smile yeah. when you, when you, when you right. talk to them. They feel it. But we were sitting here, you know, smiling and laughing through the glass and you, it was hearing what I was telling those people earlier. But yeah. They're not going to do anything. So at least have fun with it and yeah. move on to the next one. So you don't want to just like, okay, bye. Hang up on them. Like finish your call with them. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. I mean, you just go for it. You're not going to ever talk to them again. So right. as well. Ride it out. See where it yeah. goes. So Good stuff, bro. The, fir the first, you know, 15 minutes started out killer and it's slowed down but people are at the end of their work day now um, they're probably some of them getting back from lunch a minute ago whatever and just happen to answer their phone but um there's a ton of landlines which i don't like and i did see somebody said um, that they only call cell phone numbers i don't know how to get in there and change that because um, they said when they call they want somebody who's going to answer and their people are going to answer their cell phones most of the time mm -hmm. landlines is you know, it's just dropping voicemails on them. Yeah. Maybe they call back, maybe they don't. And I've had somebody call me a week later and say, oh, I got your message uh, on my house phone. Like, okay, what, and then it's hard to, you gotta ask them what neighborhood do you live in and all that, and it kind of like, mm, it makes it a little harder to get the email address. Cause like, yeah. who are you calling me, asking me where I live, you called me. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, 